Hmm. Not bad. And I could do it in lots of different colors. It just might sell. Miguel, come inside for a second. What is it, Charity? Look, it's a check. Glitterati Fashions bought my oh design. God. They have stores all across the country. Do you see all those zeros? <laughs> I need a success. Oh, I'm so excited. But you know that I would trade all that success just for your love, Miguel, because it's all that matters. Daydreaming. Miguel's with this baby and Kay now. I'm just gonna throw myself into my work and, and forget all about that. Miguel, how long have you been standing there? I ran into Ivy earlier. Apparently, Charity is at home, feverishly working away on a dress she wants to show to some famous designer called Tarly Lapson, who's supposedly coming into town. So, why should I care? You know, while Charity is home making a dress, I'll be wearing one to the Founders' Day dance with Miguel. <laughs> you know, Charity wants to design clothes. More power to her. Hope she's a big success. You too. Have you lost your reason, Kay? No, not at all. You know, in fact, I hope she's the most famous designer in the world. You've never wished anything good for charity before. What are you up to, huh? Julian? So you got my message? Maurice? I assume this meeting has something to do with the CDs you stole from my father's safe? Mm, yeah. Yeah, there's enough information on those CDs to bring down Alistair and, uh, the entire Crane Empire. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Yeah, well, I'm afraid that means you're gonna spend the rest of your life in jail, too, Julian. And Mrs. Pilar Lopez Fitzgerald wants her diagnosis strictly confidential. Is that clear? No, she doesn't want her family to know. Oh, no, she's getting worse. She's the, the nosebleeds, fatigue, faintness. And that the IV treatments don't appear to be effective. I have to call you back. Liz, for once, I'm glad to see you traipsing in here, because I have something to tell you. What? This. You get out of my house and don't you ever come back. Oh, I better check my makeup first. Pilar? Is she sick or dead drunk? Oh. Or maybe she's dead. <clears throat> Pilar? Uh, Pilar, hello? Hola. Adele. Huh. Oh, poor thing. Maybe I should call for help. See what's holding everyone up? Oh. Oh, excuse okay. me. <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa, wait. What's all this blood? Stay right there.
Oh, my God. What did you do? That's Luisa's mom in there. You attacked Pilar Lopez Fitzgerald. As I see it, the facts in this case are these. Miss Lopez Fitzgerald posed as Mr. and Mrs. Winthrop's surrogate in order to have herself implanted with Gwen Winthrop's fertilized ovum. And now the Winthrops have petitioned the court to order this ovum aborted. I am ready with my decision, but first let me remind you that I will not permit any further histrionics in my courtroom. Honey, I just wish he'd get on with it, you know, and tell Teresa she has to have an abortion because he just cannot allow this pregnancy to continue. Okay, if the judge forces me to have an abortion, I'm going to lose the leaf, and I really need this baby to trade for my son. All right. Here is my decision in the matter of Winthrop versus Lopez Fitzgerald. wishing anything good for Charity. I just want her to leave Harmony. What in Hades' name are you talking about? Tabitha, don't you get it? If Charity becomes this big-time fashion designer, do you think she's gonna stay in Harmony? Heck no! Once she hits it big, she's gonna have to move to a big city. You know, to like New York or, heck, maybe even Paris. The further, the better. Or maybe to some roach-infested sweatshop in the black hole of Calcutta, huh? Well, that would be sweet, too. Oh, oh. I don't care where she goes, as long as she's out of harmony for good. Leaving you. Leaving me with Miguel and Maria. Charity will be gone forever, and I can live with Miguel without worrying about the goody two-shoes for the rest of my life. I just came to bring this drill back to Chief Bennett. Wow, did you draw this? It's amazing. Thank you. I hope you're not the only one who likes it. What do you mean? Well, um, you know, lately I've been thinking a lot about what to do with my life. Yeah. Um, I've decided I'm gonna be a clothing designer. I've enrolled in an online course. Wow, that's great. Yeah. I have this dream of seeing people wearing my clothes, you know, across the country, maybe even across the world, I don't know. You'll be a success at anything you do. I've always... I wasn't successful with you. What's wrong? Oh, um, you know, Maybe this idea of designing clothes is a little crazy. Why would you think that? Well, say I design the perfect dress, you know? So what? I don't know who to sell it to. I don't know how to sell it. I don't know anything about business. Well, you know, that's kind of what I've been studying all semester. Maybe I could help you. You know, or at least tell you where to get started. You would do that? And do anything for you, Charity. Well, congratulations, Louise. You always wanted to bring down the Crane Empire. It appears you're about to do it. Thanks for the information on those CDs. Is that why you wanted to meet me here, to tell me I'm going to jail? To gloat? Oh, <laughs> Julian. No, believe it or not, I don't take any pleasure in sending you to jail. Why not? I'm a crane. I thought you hated our guts. I hate your father. And, uh, well, Alistair's gonna get all the punishment he deserves. 
Well, but when Sheridan was locked up in that psych ward and we had that talk, you showed me a different side. You actually made me believe that you have a heart. A small one, but it's in there somewhere. Uh, unfortunately, it's a little late, but, uh, well, you surprised me. You know, you, you understood my feelings for Sheridan. Well, as I said, I understand how it feels to lose the woman you love. In my case, the only woman I'll ever love. And you still don't want to tell me who this woman is? What does it matter? Even if I once thought I had a chance of winning her back, it's gone now. I'm going to jail. I assume the evidence you have in those CDs is rather incriminating. Yeah, yeah, there's uh, really no way you're going to avoid going to prison. Sorry. Don't be. You're not going to run, are you? No, besides your pal saying Bennett already took my passport, I'm going to stay here and I'm going to pay for the crimes I committed. Even some I didn't commit. <sighs> my punishment won't be jail, my punishment will be the end of any hope of ever reuniting with, with that woman from my past. The only woman I ever loved. What, did you think that I wouldn't see this? TC, I have so much to tell you. Come to the Blue Note tonight for a drink. Liz. I have told you and told you to stop throwing yourself at my husband, Liz. I'm not going to stand for it anymore. You are going to leave him alone. If you wouldn't be so upset. If deep down you weren't afraid of losing him. Oh, please. Haven't you figured out yet that TC loves me? You are never going to take him away from me. Yes. Oh, once TC finds out about your past with Julian, oh, he will blah, be gone. Blah, blah, blah. Can't you learn another song? He hasn't figured it out yet, has he? And you can't tell him because then he'll know that everything you've said since you got here has been a lie. That you're just a, a vengeful, conniving bitch. It is time for you to go, Liz. You only came here to destroy my life and face it, you failed. I'm still married to TC. You've lost. I am not finished with you, oh, Eve. No, yes, you are. You have done your damnedest to get your stupid revenge but you failed, Liz. It's time to move on. It's time to get out of harmony forever. What's going on? In the matter of Winthrop versus Lopez Fitzgerald, it is the decision of this court. Now get your hands off of me. I did not attack Pilar. What about all that blood on her? I have no idea. Maybe she was running a cock fight. Mama, blood, what's going on out there? <laughs> Who can work under these conditions? OK. Court is in recess. Call me when this latest nonsense is over. If you rip this outfit, you were going to be sorry you were ever born flat foot. Rebecca, what did you do to my mother? Mother, what are you doing here? Look, I just came here to get you and Ethan so you could get ready for the Founders Day dance, and then this man here accused me of attacking Pilar. Now let go of me. You're not going anywhere until this is sorted out. Look, is, is it my fault that that peasant woman is passed out on the bathroom floor? I think not. Oh, my God, my mom's passed out. Mama? Ma'am, I'm sorry, but I can't let you go in there. It's a possible crime scene. Yes, but, but my, my mother's in there. I'll go, I'll go. Pilar? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Pilar. She, she's dead. I saw you two from the yard. Um, looks like you guys are arguing. What's going on? Oh, nothing, honey. Everything's fine. And Liz was just telling me how she's leaving Harmony. Soon. Isn't that right, Liz? You know, I heard that Sheridan and Antonio were, were moving back to St. Lisa's, but now I find out that Liz is going back, too. And what a pity, just when summer is coming to Harmony. But then I'm sure you just can't wait to get back there. Hmm. All three of you, that is so sudden. Oh, actually, TC, nothing has been decided yet. Well, you know what, Liz, you always talked about going back, but you always stayed. And what about the blue note? TC, really, I, I don't... Selling it. It shouldn't be hard at all to sell a successful club like that, and then once it's sold, there's no reason to stay on. I think going back to St. Lisa's would be the best thing that Liz could do. 
You know, I must admit I'm impressed that you were able to read Father's files. The encryption on the data was supposed to be unbreakable. Hmm. Well, I haven't actually decoded them all yet. I've got a computer working on it right now. Oh, but it's all there. Years worth from Chernobyl to Enron. Even fixing the Super Bowl. <laughs> that was a good one. You know, one of the CDs is even labeled Julian's Bastard. Yes. You see, that's my silver lining. Once you decode that CD, I'll finally know who and where my son is. Oh, God, she's alive. Pilar, Pilar. What is with her? What is below? What happened? Pilar, what happened? Hold, on, hold on, hang on, hang on. I'm, I'm calling 911, OK? No, 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 Ethan, don't. Don't call. But don't be ridiculous. This isn't right, Pilar. No, please, you... please, just don't call. Oh, God. Oh, God. Not again. What do you mean, not again? Did Rebecca, did Rebecca have anything to do with this? What? Did, did... No, no. Rebecca had nothing to do with this. Well, then what, what is going on? You passed out on the floor. You have a severe nosebleed. Are you, are you sick? What is wrong? Well, I would love advice on the business side of making clothes. I don't know where to begin. Okay, well, this is exactly what I've been studying in my business class. You know, first you have to ask yourself two major questions. Who's your customer, and why would they want to buy your clothes? Um, okay. Uh, my customers would be girls my age, maybe a little older. And they'd buy my stuff because because they'd like it. <laughs> okay, yeah, but um, but there's more, all right? Like, uh, do they buy your clothes because they're the hottest fashions? Or do they buy your clothes because they flatter them? Or do they buy your clothes because their best friend doesn't have them yet? Ah, uh, I see. You know, and there's the four Ps, which is product, place, price, and promotion. I mean, these clothes, they, they don't just sell whoa, themselves. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> this is too much information. <laughs> okay, but you know, this is stuff that you gotta start thinking about. You know, it's your future, remember? Like, do you want to own your own shop? Or do you want to sell to department stores or to chain Miguel, stores? Miguel, it's internet, exciting to talk about my catalogs, future as a designer, but you know, production, I wish we could talk I mean, about our future together, about, you know, too. Made. Now, wait a minute. You're getting way ahead of yourself here. Our blonde nemesis is making one dress. That hardly means she's going to be the star of her own atelier in Paris. OK, forget it. I just want Charity to get the hell out of Harmony, and I don't care how it happens. <sighs> Besides, you know, Charity is not the threat she once was. Maria is pulling Miguel and me closer together, and we're finally becoming a real family. Time of that, I just know that once we get to this dance, Miguel is going to realize that I'm the girl for him. But I sure wish Charity were completely out of the picture. Well, she's still very much in the picture right now. What? No, that's it. I'm getting rid of Charity right now, forever. Ugh. What are you going to do? Kill her? Would you let go of me? Do you really think I'd wear all these diamonds just to come here and bash the homeless? Too dressy, she wears pearls. Oh, shut up. Mother, you didn't do anything to Pilar, did you? not. She was passed out on the floor. Too much sangria, I'm sure. Well, why didn't you call anyone? Well, why would I? She's a maid. I thought she was scrubbing the floor. Oh, damn oh. you, Rebecca. I'm sorry, but I have to go to my mother. I'm sorry, ma'am. You need to wait here. Jason, so we'll just wait a bit, okay? Honey, we're just gonna be in the way. It'll be all right. <sighs> Help me up, Ethan. Okay, okay. Help me okay. up. Easy, easy. Okay, thank you. All right? Yeah. Now tell me, tell me what's wrong. Nothing, nothing. Don't give me that, okay? It's obvious you're sick. No, I am. Uh, I just slipped, that's all. No, 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 not all this blood from a simple fall. What is going on? Ethan. No, listen, Pilar. You're like a second mother to me, okay? I've known you my whole life. I care about you. If something's going on, I want to know about it. Are you all right? Please, tell me. 
All right. <laughs> okay, all right, fine. I'm sick. But, but it's not that serious, and I am under doctor's care. Okay? That, well, then you should tell your family about it. I mean, this is... No, no, Ethan. I don't want to burden them. I don't want my children to know. What don't you want us to know, Mama? So what's the timetable? Is the axe still falling tonight? Yeah. Yeah, at the dance. Hide all the secrets and lies. Come to an end. Well, it's time. It's time the pain stopped for everyone. You know, even if I do have to pay for my mistakes, I think that you're doing the right thing. You're an admirable man. Good luck to you tonight. Thanks. Well, uh, I better go check on the computer, see what other CDs it's decoded. Sorry, Julian. Dr. Russell. Eve, if you're not alone, just listen to me. I need to see you. Would you meet me um, in the park? You know the spot. Um, of course, doctor, if it's important. And what is this about? I have news about our son. I'm leaving now. Eve. This may be the last time I get to be near you without bars between us. Mama, what don't you want us to know? Come on, lady, get out here. I'll be right there. Mama. Oh, it is. <laughs> I just... I didn't want my children to know how clumsy I am, you know? It, it was silly. I fell on some water and I... and I... I got a bloody nose, that's all. <laughs> so, uh, another nosebleed, huh? Is that right? From the fall, Teresita, that's all. Right? Mama, are you okay? <laughs> If it is, of course, I'm fine. Are you sure? Because, you know, you, you scared us half to death here, Mama. <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah? So, so, um, what, what's going on with the hearing? Um, yeah. The uh, judge took a short recess, and, uh, well, he, he said that he would, he would tell us his decision when we go back inside the courtroom, so... All right, so, so, come on, let's go back to no, the courtroom. No, 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 Mama. I want you to go home, and I want you to rest. Ay, Teresa, I... I want to be here to support you. Miss Lopez Fitzgerald! I'll be right back. Excuse me. Okay. Are you sure you don't just want to tell Teresa about this? Ethan, please. I can take care of myself, okay? I don't want Teresa to worry or my family. All right. Okay, Mama. Are uh, you ready? Come on. Yeah. All right. See? She's alive, well, and badly dressed. Oh, I suspect she's gonna have one a heck of a hangover. You know, I never touched tequila. <laughs> Not since that time in Cabo when... You wanna gag her? No? no. Ma'am, did this woman attack you? No. No, I was alone. Uh, thank you. I, uh, I slipped on, on some water and got knocked out. There. You see? Everything is fine, Mr. Muscle. So, if you wanna keep this little, uh whole hum job of yours. I suggest you do one of two things. Either you apologize to me here, in public, or... I apologize. <laughs> oh, we don't have to use the handcuffs. <laughs> I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, me too. And I'm sorry I'm not gonna be able to stay to hear what the judge says. I've Got to go to the seascape. I'm doing all the music and I've got to set up, so... Okay. I'll see you later, baby. Okay. And Teresa, good luck. Hi, thanks, Chad. Excuse me. If everything's all right, the judge is ready. Oh, well, uh, everything's fine. Let's get this over with.
Ben, where's Judge Riley? Biggest Joker isn't on the payroll. Court is back in session. I'm sorry to hear about your mishap, Mrs. Lopez Fitzgerald, and I'm glad you're all right. I just wish he'd hurry up and give us his decision. It is hard to describe how shocked I am by your actions, Ms. Lopez Fitzgerald. Such callous and cruel behavior is beyond the pale. And it is difficult to find words to tell you how much I despise those actions. When did you hear that? He despises her. Oh, everything is going to go your way. One abortion coming up. Okay, now what I've drawn here is the basic business model. All right, it shows how outside forces affect the industry. All right, uh, now this is this is the threat of substitutes. This is supplier capabilities. This is buying power. <clears throat> this is the amount of um, competition. I think I think maybe it's a little bit premature. I mean, I haven't yeah. even sewn a dress yet. Sorry, you know I'm just so interested in all this stuff. I guess I kind of get carried away. No. I think I need to design a product before I start getting my business lessons. <laughs> you know, I just want to design clothes that are really cute and make people look great. Okay, well, that's a good first step. You know, but there's a lot more to business than just building a better mousetrap or dress. Okay. Now, why don't you explain to me why you have put rivalry in the center like this? Okay, well, uh, rivalries. Rivalry. Um, well, rivalries, competition. You know, it's what stands in the way of you and your happiness. I, I mean, profit. You know, I'm, I'm not sure you can figure all this stuff out. I better get this drill back to Chief Bennett. Hey, go, wait, wait. I have an idea. It's something that could change both of our lives. What are they talking about over there? I don't know, but I can feel their attraction all the way over here. But, but he's done with charity. It's over. And it's been over ever since she threw herself at Reese and half the other guys in town. And I'm the mother of his child. Charity is always a threat, Kay. Remember that she is your rival. Here, help me. Read my cards and tell me what's coming. Hey, if Charity and Miguel are headed back together, then I need to know. Figure out a way to stop it. Okay. You go next door, find out what's going on between them, and nip it in the bud. You're right. Thank you. You're an angel. Angel? That's not exactly a compliment in this house. <sighs> next spring, I'll be staring at concrete block walls. Julian, is it true you know who our son is? Uh, not yet, my love. Luis will tell us this evening. Is that for sure now? Because I don't think I could bear any more disappointment. That's for sure. Oh, oh Julian, our son. Oh, we're finally going to see our son and see what kind of man he's become and where he's been. Oh, I'm finally going to get my son back. Oh, Julian, what's the matter? This is, this is joyous news. Well, I met with Luis, and tonight he's letting every nasty little crane secret out of the box. I won't be able to avoid jail, and it could be for a very long time. Oh, Ben, we have to stop Luis. We, we can't let this happen. I'm sorry, my love, but this is the only way. I, I'm guilty of so much, the piper must be paid. No, Julian. No, I, I can't have this. I can't find my son only to lose you no i can't
to review, Ms. Lopez Fitzgerald drugged the Winthrop's legitimate maternal surrogate, locked her in a closet, and then passed herself off as that surrogate to the medical implantation staff at Harmony Hospital, and was implanted with Mrs. Winthrop's fertilized ovum. And now the Winthrop's want the court to force Ms. Lopez Fitzgerald to submit to an abortion. Ethan has stopped looking at Teresa. Frankly, the defendant's actions truly shocked me. It's difficult to conceive of such blatant disregard for the law and moral decency. However, I cannot allow my personal feelings to affect my legal decisions. So, before there are any further interruptions, my decision is as follows. In the case of Winthrop versus Lopez Fitzgerald, the petitioners request that their fertilized ovum be aborted from the body of the defendant is denied. What? what? Oh my God, Your Honor, you can't do this. <sighs> I'm gonna get my son back, Mama. <laughs> Oh dear, this does not bode well. In fact, it couldn't be worse. There's so much pain coming her way, so much. She's, she's never going to be with me, Gil. Never. So, what's this idea that you have that's gonna change both of our lives, Charity? We work together. <sighs> what? Yeah, I mean, on my clothing line. I'll take care of the designs and, well, <laughs> you'll take care of the business side. You know, I, I, I think that's a great idea. I mean, we make an awesome team, you know, so if we were working together, we could make your business a huge success. Oh, I cannot wait to start working with you. Me neither. Fortune 500, here we come. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I will destroy you, Eve, if it's the last thing I do. Liz, are you all right? Yes, TC, of course, I'm great. I carry one box in my damn knee, Exa. Oh, well, maybe you want me to massage it for you, hmm? Liz, no, thank you, okay? So, when will you decide that you're leaving to go back to St. Lisa's? Um, I'm not sure, T.C. Oh. See you. Keep us posted, all right? T.C., wait. So, I don't want to go back to the island if you don't want me to. I mean, if you can think of any reason that I might stay, I will. Liz, I, I think that you should go back to the island. Um, I need to go get some more things out of the attic for the dance. There's no reason for me to stay in harmony. TC is yours. Forever. waited a long time to find out where our son is, who he is. But I can't let you go to jail, Julian. That's too high a price to pay. No, oh, hush. I must pay for the mistakes that I made. 
And I truly don't care what they do to me as long as you're happy. How am I going to be happy if you're suffering? Oh, no. What is it? Oh, Julie, I just realized that if the Crane secrets come out tonight, then TC's going to know about you and me. I've already thought about what will happen if the real truth about our past comes out and I've taken steps to protect you. To protect me? I'm going to make sure that you don't lose TC and your daughters. I can't believe you're bringing down the Cranes tonight. Yeah, I'm still waiting for some of the files to be decoded, but when they are... It's all going down at the dance. When those files come out, the cranes are finished. Your Honor, you can't do this. This I, is not fair. Sorry, stop. I, I, unbelievable. I can't believe you got away with this. Way to go, beautiful. It's gonna work. I'm gonna get my son back. Order! Order in the court. This is crazy! Yeah, you'll be judging dog shows when I'm through with you. Your Honor, you cannot reward Teresa. She is a criminal. She is blackmailing me to get her son back. Now she can hold my child hostage. I said order, or I will find the lot of you. OK, well, if you're not going to fix this, I am, because I will not let this happen. I won't. You, you are a dead woman. I am going to kill you. <laughs> The procedure had to work. I have to be pregnant. I'm going to keep Charity and Miguel apart, no matter what I have to do. Julian Crane ruined your life. Cause my death. I'm going to make him pay. Tonight, only two words for the season finale of Will and Grace. Vegas, baby. It's Karen's Vegas wedding with Jennifer Lopez as the wedding singer. We love you, Jennifer! Along with a little help from Jack. I can do it. I know all the stuff by heart. Let me check the butt. Girl, you're hired! Jack and J-Lo play the wedding event of the season. Karen and Lyle, just remember, the secret to a happy marriage is... Ah, who am I kidding? The one-hour season finale of Will and Grace, NBC Tonight.